Hi, I'm Exesis and this is Hard to Find for Larry's Stones. Today we're playing Historic England and uh, we're gonna get right into it here. Even though large tracts of Europe and many old and famous states have fallen or may fall into the grip of the Gestapo and all the odious apparatus of the Nazi rule, we shall not flag or fail. We shall go on to the end, we shall fight in France, we shall fight on the seas and the oceans. We shall fight with growing confidence and growing strength in the air. We shall defend our island, whatever the cost may be. We shall fight on the beaches. We shall fight on the landing grounds. We shall fight in the fields and in the streets. We shall fight in the hills. We shall never surrender. And if, which I do not for a moment believe, this island or a large part of it was subjugated and starving, then our empire beyond the seas armed and guarded by the British fleet, would carry on the struggle until, in God's good time, the new world, with all its power and might, steps forth to the rescue and liberation of the old. As you may have guessed, we've got a speech to hold. So, there we go. And uh, we do have a few more things here. And uh, right down here at the bottom, we've got the uh, Joint training exercise, there is really no reason not to do this. So let's go ahead and uh, while we're at it, let's do another extraction campaign and let's see what more do we have to want to do. What do we have for legitimacy yeah, with our exiled governments? I'm uh, kind of working with Poland. We could actually start working a bit on pre France as well. They've got a lot of legitimacy. So that, that would be a good investment and uh, the polls polls are quite a good one here too but let's see if we can do anything with the french well we got the uh, purge french infiltrators don't really know what this would do us political power oh we gain 50 political power from that that's not bad we just won legitimacy. I don't know, or maybe it's for everyone. But um, yeah, let's uh, get that one for the French manpower as well. And uh, if we can, yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's see what that one does. Let's see if it gives us 50 political power at the end of it. And up here we can. Probably want to gain some more legitimacy with uh, Poland. Well, which one do we want to do? That one's more expensive for the same thing. So obviously we're going to do this one. Costs a little bit of political power, but I do think it's worth it. Let's see what outdated we have. We're building outdated bombers. Did we have a reason for building outdated bombers? We're probably waiting for some more experience and we did the tactical or the uh, other ones, there's a strategic bomber. It should be down here, the land, cost, land costers. Let's see what we can do here then. I do not want to... No, I don't think we want to build any more of them. Those can be for spares. Um, increasing bombing a little bit would uh, probably be good. The, the range, they do have quite a bit. Oh, we can have either range or bombing. Actually, I think we might want to go with just range. Engine is also good, so it increases their survivability. Uh, we've got not one. Reliability down 16, don't really like that. Seeing as these are expensive pieces, we don't want to be losing them. So the engines now it's the range that reduces. Okay, so let's uh, let's bump that up and actually bump the reliability up a little bit. Just to increase the survivability, because that reduces uh, bombing. Does the bombing reduces range and reliability, of course. Um, Two hundred twenty-five. No, we're going with this one. A flag cost of Mark One, and uh, let's have those put in there. And spending a lot of it. 
we need some new aluminium. Let's see what we can do here. One factory should be enough there. Three fronts can't really give us any, they don't have any. So who do you want to support a little bit more? Maybe actually the Soviet Union. No. Uh, yeah. Norway. Yeah, we could, could get some from Norway. That's one factory. Well, I'm guessing we're gonna be way over now. Let's uh, bump those up so we have uh, one factory's worth. That's probably the same. We're probably losing some from efficiency. Yeah. We're still being upgraded a bit. Let's press play, see what happens. Okay, we got too much aluminium. We don't need this Norwegian then. Don't really need the Australian one too, but I guess they could use that extra factory. No, we'll cancel that. We need that factory more. And let's see what we're building. We are currently building a few more civilian factories. That's good. Got a few more radar sites going. So, put that down. We're gonna check in on our fronts in a second too. Uh, convoys, yeah, something down there in the channel. It's fine. That's uh, the remnants of British Expeditionary Force. So we've got some free military factories. Four of them. French donations. Oh, that's nice. What do we want to spend the French donations on? We are missing uh, a lot of infantry equipment now, actually, and support equipment, and a bit of motorized too. Heavy fighters, yeah, we, that's because we did redeploy the wings. Okay, so we're gonna build some more support equipment. Let's put two factories into there, and we want two more into. Let's put. Five more in there. And let's just double up on more Christ. And these can get uh, to fill out in their own time. We do have some arm experience, you might want to do something with that. We finished decrypting the cycles, yes. And I think we've only got a few days left on this one here in Japan. Yeah, one day. Uh, let's actually have to finish that one. Now we can see what happened. We actually got 10 naval experience, that's nice. And that's the, the bonus outcome you can get. Let's see what more we can do in Japan. We want to infiltrate the Air Force, of course. And uh, who do we have doing? We're going to send the, the same two here. Ting a ding and Bain. So, Christina and uh, Victoria. Really. Actually, we want to, before we do this, I think we want to use uh, Victoria to free our captured operative here. We don't really want to drop one in. We're going to have to check with these are. But uh, let's mount a rescue operation first and foremost. Up here, rescue our operative. Let's send in Victoria, who's got the escape artist. Goes a little bit quicker and a little bit cheaper. Let's get that started. Uh, let's see where we've got him. He's in Italy. She is over here in Japan. 100%. Is she sleeping? Yes, she's sleeping. And in Germany, he's sleeping. So we don't really want to use her for. Actually, we could probably do that. Infantry the Air Force. And uh, let's send Lisa and Tingeling in then. We will lose our. Uh, what's it called? We will lose the uh, bonus we built up here, so we'll have to rebuild that up. But I think that's a fine trade. Uh, we're not in war with Japan at the moment, so that's okay. Public recognition of the French, of the French government. I guess this is because they're now at 99%, right? Oh, they are starting to fall. Yeah, so that should give us some more political power at the end of it. 
after we purge the French infiltrators. And do we want to build, because these are all small countries, I don't think it's worth to put the power into them. We're gonna leave that be, where we can... That's the expensive one, parliamentary speech is a lot better. But so uh, you can only use it under 95. We leave that one checked. Let's actually leave this one checked because we no not the one. That's the expensive one. Um purge the Polish infiltrators. Now we wanna don't wanna do that. We've got the one going here with Polish parliamentary speech. The extraction campaigns we're gonna keep going. I don't, don't think we I might wanna do that again. And um yeah, these will come up when we can. Let's see here, we've got a naval combat going here. Now there's a convoy, Belgian convoy that was lost. And our submarines are being hunted down by the Germans. Alright. A uh, lot of defeats out here. It doesn't look like it's our convoys here. Uh, some of them there. And some Greek convoys. Cypher for the Soviet Union is fully decrypted. That means we need uh, another enemy. Let's see if we can look at the... Not the resistance map one. I wanted to see the... Vacuum's map one. We don't have that one. Oh, let's see. Here we go. So we can probably pop one into Hungary. That might be useful sometime. Let's get rid of that one and that one. Get back into a normal map view. And the sign divisions, we've got some garrisons popping up down here. That's good. Now it's actually one of the melee ones. Uh, we can give him back that one for now, I think. That must be one of their, their own produced ones, I think. Do you want to keep him? Yeah, well, let's keep him. It looks like we kept the last one too. But yeah, the flags outside for when they're expeditionary forces and inside when they're colonial forces. Okay, so we can get rid of that one again. We're missing one aluminum, that's fine. And let's do it that way. Let's just get rid of those. Heroines without a mission. These are down in Singapore. This is fine that they don't have a mission. Do you have anyone else? Glorious does not have a mission. Where is Glorious? I think we moved them. No, they're done training. Perfect. So let's just move uh, the China fleet back in here. Or it could actually be stationed down in Singapore instead, I think. Let's rebase them. And let's see how we are doing here. We did make some gains up here and some gains down here last episode. Let's see if we can keep pushing. Doesn't look like we've got anyone. Oh, we can't cross. Oh, yeah, there's a lake. Lake right here. So we can cross right into there. Crossing into there is fine, however. Let's see if the infantry division is a mountain type. Really don't want to pack into the mountain. Maybe we can punch through there. That might work unless they reinforce. Looks like a lot of their divisions are getting their own strength. Tanks here. We've got a river to cross here, which is uh, not that hot. Maybe we could. Now oh, it's a river down there too. All the way. Okay, so our heavy tanks are gonna have to be amphibious. They are moving one of the divisions out of here. Maybe we can sneak in when there's just one division left. We really want to capture Kartorum here. Or Kartorum. Let's see if he'll move out. Probably several days until he moves out. 
Are we doing fire superiority? Yeah, yeah, no problem whatsoever. That's very good. It makes it a little bit easier for us. Okay, so let's move our tanks in. Let's move some infantry up. And uh, I think we might want to bring in a, another few infantry units up. Yeah, that way. And then come in as reinforcements. And here we're starting to get into the horrible battles. Okay, so we're going to have to leave one unit there. Go in with all of those. We really want to capture Asmara. And of course down to Djibouti. Okay, so these three of them can keep going to there. I want these three to attack and go straight for the board. Actually attack, leave one straight for the board. That leave us two divisions standing there and we'll have gained four provinces. If we succeed. Uh, which shouldn't be any kind of problem here. We've got one attack going there, one there, and one down here. Okay, that's not gonna go. Maybe we can push across here too. I think we've tried this one before. He's already unentrenched. Okay, we did push through here, no problem whatsoever. And we are pushing across the river there too. Moving into these empty provinces shouldn't be any kind of problem. And let's make sure he doesn't get out of there. There's not a lot of fighting going on here, even if you zoom in. I think we will hear a little bit more guns. Okay, so we grabbed here. And he's moving up, I'd rather he'd move up to there. We'll keep pushing, see if we can grab the port down here in Somaliland. But we want to reduce the amount of supply there getting in here. See if we can get the supply map not going. There we go. Now we can't really see what's happening on their side, of course. We can see that we are well supported at the moment, though. So we're pushing through here too, very well. That means we want to use our tanks here and these troops. And I think we actually want to push. But we want to cross the river here, of course. So we have to let our troops sit here and wait for a bit. And uh, so that we get the uh, fortification or the planning bonus. But they've lost the planning bonus now that they've been in their first battle. And the heavy tanks should be able to widen this gap by themselves down there. That shouldn't be any, um, here we are doing a diversionary attack so that our troops can get into position here. And here we want to leave one and keep going. Actually, I don't know if we do need to leave one. I think if we hold that attack now, yeah, we're leaving one. The uh, division we had on the offensive, that's this one, can be reassigned to there. He's already assigned to there. And we want to have that one assigned to there and this one assigned to there. A couple more ones and this one. We've got you moving, you can stay there. Uh, support that attack. Because why not? So we're pushing through here, no problem. We're just chasing them down. And these, uh, one of these divisions should be crossing here any moment. Okay, where are you going? You're going down there. Yeah, because we reassigned you. That means uh, you can probably keep going. And then we just need to move in here as well. I actually thought the heavy tanks shouldn't have any kind of trouble whatsoever getting through here. Obviously I was uh, wrong there. Now here we go. They're starting to bite in. 
We might not be able to hold here though. Let's see if we don't have some counter offensives at some of these troops. And yeah, cross go there. And you support that attack. We might be able to help this one out. Okay. Where is everyone going? Why, why would you want to leave that? Because uh, you guys are assigned down here. We want you assigned to this. That means uh, we've got two divisions assigned there. That should be fine. And we definitely don't want to leave this unguarded. We want to go down to the airbase. That will help us. And one of them pushed towards the port. They definitely want to take this mountain tile before anyone gets into it. And he's moving there, so I want to pin him down. And we're making several bad attacks here at the moment, we're actually winning this one. Yeah, because we're attacking over land here, of course. 19 exile divisions from free bonds. Wow. Okay. Uh, we've got a whole French army going here. Including some of their um, wonderful, especially good light tank divisions. Alright. So, we're gonna need to have a leader for these. Which uh, obviously is going to be a, a French commander. Who do we have uh, over here? So we've got the. Is a Panzer leader? Would it be a bad choice? Five on attack. Commando, yeah. Cavalry officer, brilliant strategist. And here we can actually go for. He's got. Probably better to take the combined arms expert. We've got the traits for it, so let's do so. And uh, we'll go the both. No, oh, uh, these ones are the not so good ones. I wonder if we can switch them, I'm guessing not. Hmm, actually, we can. We just need the Legere and the the combat. I'm guessing these are mechanic combat and mechanic. Uh, mechanic was the good ones. These are the ones we want. So let's uh, flip them over to the mechanized division. No, that was the wrong one. This one. Right. Yeah. Oh well. We'll probably have to re equip some of these. The, the mechanic. Uh, and we've got a cavalry division and a cavalry division and a cavalry division. Let's, uh, do we have any French? We've got a motorized division there. So let's swap those over. And then we've got well, four tank divisions now because I accidentally did one too many and three of those. And maybe we shouldn't have him in Asia, he can be under home command. Yeah, okay. Uh, Royal Marine, Southern Northern. Seventh Army, yeah, these are down in Africa. Who wanna have a uh, new? Here we go. And uh, here's where I want the Lego. So let's uh, move the entire army up here. Put them all back under Lego. And he can be there. Well, I kind of want to split these out. Let's keep them in, in the French expeditionary force for now. They're going to be short of equipment for a bit here. Let's uh, base them up here in the, the Midlands of Wales. And how are we doing in Norway? No signs of a German invasion just yet. That should probably be their next objective. We're looking very thin down here. This is free France, but Vichy France is over here. 
and the Vichy France is not at war with us as far as I know. Let's uh, go back here to diplomacy. No. But uh, of course this uh, could change in the future, as it did historically. Okay, so we sunk a cruiser and four destroyers, that's good. There's been some small skirmishes and another cruiser sunk there, a heavy one. Very nice. Okay, so we're not gonna hold here, even though we've been making these kind of costly counterattacks. What we would like to do, oh, we're not gonna hold up without infantry. What we wanna do here is uh, the seventh armored, should be. Probably wanna move the tanks up to there, so we can try to punch through here. This is going to be the next place we really want to push through. You are retreating to there. I think we might want to stretch the lines here just a tad. And then we're on seven divisions there. Yeah. Okay. That's why it's a little bit thin. So we get up to there and let's move it down to there. Gives us a little bit less to work with. And these should be free soon enough. And the question is do we want to move those over to. Let's plop you over there. And let's move those in. Very nice. And with some pause again. Okay, so we did get through to the port down here. This is very good. Indian prince donates fighters. The Nizam of Hyperabad, the Indian prince, has generously donated the money to purchase two close quarters of our most modern fighters for the Royal Air Force. The government has expressed their thanks and declared that the first plane will be named the Spirit of Hyperabad. They will prove very useful. Okay, so we gain a uh, 20 units of Spitfires. That's a very nice boost, not a lot, but every little helps. And uh, we also got the computing machine. So from here we want to go... The radar is tempting. As is the fire control systems. But we are approaching 1941 and I'm actually thinking concentrated industry ahead of time is uh, probably the way to go. So let's grab that. Actually, did we... Or we could have gone for atomic research too to speed up our research speed. Now we'll, we'll, we'll save that a little bit later. I think we get a boost to it and then not that far ahead. Here we go. So those Spitfires just go straight into the stockpile, I guess. And they'll be... Okay, they were not our most advanced. We obviously got more advanced ones, right? That's fine. We've got some some spares there. Positions available. The, yeah, the French parliamentary speech, I think we want to do. Well, that's the one that raises it again, isn't it? How much have we lost? I just want to see. Yes, we actually lost quite a bit of legitimacy there. So that's the exiled leaders. And division recruitment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. So let's uh, check back in here. It would be really nice to be able to take Djibouti. We're continuing on there. Yeah, and they're not stopping us. We do, however, really want to punch through here. To kind of protect our flanks. But this is not going very well. I would have thought that uh, he would have a very hard time standing there. And uh, he hasn't moved to the port there either. We actually should move someone to that port, just until it is safe. 
because we don't want to lose it. Alright, so we got our tanks in position. We've got no one defending down here. That's a little worrisome. But it's uh, it's fine, that's what it is. Okay, you don't need to support from there anymore and very quick that attack. Doesn't seem to be going our in our favor. Cutting these up here, however, would I think what we want to do is move. Are they moving anyone in here? No, they're not moving anyone in there. We can move these in there, we've got another front going. We want to split up one down there to get another front moving here. And then we want to attack in from here. We want to do it as soon as possible. Okay, we've got southern Norway. Here, the Germans are coming. And uh, are we allowed to send our... We should be allowed to send our marines over, right? So how many naval invasions do we have? We don't have the supremacy. Of course, we don't need to do naval invasions to do this. But it's uh, more fun this way, isn't it? And that's our queue. We need to... Let's see... Are we in home command? Is in North Sea and English Channel at the moment, I think. Let's remove the English Channel. I think someone else is out here. Yeah, that's just Conway Escort. So we need to be... Wish we could kind of route this around the correct way. We need to be here. And then they'll retain their roles, of course. That should be fine. We've got... We'll put the convoy escorts up here, that should give us enough supremacy as to go over there. We kind of need more, more and more of these. And are we being hit anywhere else? I actually think we're fairly safe down here for now. We're being hit a lot in the Mediterranean it looks like, and in this area. It's not too bad. Uh, over here I think we've got Illustrious on exercising. Her air wings... Well, it looks like they're just exercising there, right? All of them. Yeah. So we'll leave, uh, leave her there with our destroyer escorts. And uh, focus down here. Because we want to get there now. Now, uh, twice the truth, we want to wait for him to leave, I think, then. Okay, and we don't want to have everyone there going. Stay there. You're getting up there soon, I hope. No, you stay there. Come on. Sometimes I wish they would stay just a little bit longer. Okay, so he is there. There in position. Is he leaving? He is leaving, but we don't really know when. I still want him to be part of this order. And uh, I'm guessing these troops at the moment. Yeah, they don't seem to have an attack plan. But they're not gaining any planning bonus. These do, these do. And uh, I think that we just take. These two can have a uh, push us up from there. That was not very good. Oh, there's 16 divisions here. Oh, come on then. Yeah, we want, want you all assigned to there. We want you two assigned there and you there. We didn't make it there in time to get the port back. And I doubt that he'll abandon that port. But we can do it this way and we can bomb him out later. Okay. No, you're still moving there. Stay put. Okay, we'll, we'll do it that way. Wanna see when these leave here. They're gonna leave in the pause, of course. Okay, so we got another one coming in there. 
And I guess we attack as soon as these get over here. We'll have to deal with uh, whatever is still here. There's one more coming in. There we go. And then we have you. Back to that order. That's four. That's two. And we want the tank in, of course. That should be an overwhelming victory. And uh, these three divisions secure. It looks like we didn't make it in here in time. No, oh, you're supposed to be there. I'm control clicking, that's why it's uh, being watched up. Okay, so that shouldn't be any kind of an issue. I'll have to check in on Norway soon. I just want to close this deal here. Okay, we haven't been able to secure this province either, which I would quite like. Let's see if we can't make another attack there, see what happens. Okay, so we push through here anyway, and we're back to him being surrounded by one there. So, let's see here, right click. To select, yes, we'll put those in. We'll have them start gaining some... Okay, now we probably want to have a fourth one in here. So you can be there too. Okay, so we've got some free dockyards. And these can be... Actually, we want to have... These two can be assigned up here too. We will... Drag that one all around. Uh, all around. There. We will instead grab the guys there. And we will pop them down on one of the armored one on this front. Remove that front. The tanks aren't going to do much use up there. Because it's only mountains here. And the heavy tanks are not that good in mountains. We're going to remove them from there, and we're going to move uh, Jock Campbell and the 7th down. We could take him down here, but he'll probably do most use down here to punch through the lines. And we've already got an opening down here. So let's, uh, yeah, let's move him down there for now. He can strategically redeploy to there, probably. Is the most economic way to do that. And the pre prawn seems to be quite happy for us liberating down here. And Greek and Dutch East Indies. Oh, yeah, there's Dutch East Indies and there's Greek troops. And there's some Indian divisions coming in, capture divisions. Well, very good. I just want to make sure that this is actually secure as well. So there we go. Some pause again. Let's actually check this first. Three dockyards. Because three dockyards means we've finished something. We've got cruisers, destroyers, and we've got HMS Formidable. Yes, you go up and join the training fleet. You're all already trained and sitting in the reserves at the moment. Are we missing anyone down here? That's well, actually a good, a good beat. Okay, so I'm guessing it's the... Yeah, we're not building any destroyers and we're not building any light cruisers anymore or cruisers. So let's uh, take a look at those. Now let's start off and to see where we are. We have not yet got the 1940s destroyers, nor cruisers. Nor do I think we have any upgraded weapons for them. But we do have the dual purpose guns, which is uh, very good. We're gonna have to grab these soon enough too. And let's see what we can do. We've got some new radars and things, so we can we can upgrade them. 
let's start off with the destroyers. So we're gonna stick to the driver class and uh, we will switch out the rapid fire guns for dual purpose batteries, two of them. That uh, gives us quite a lot more light attack and quite a lot more anti-air which uh, also means we should be able to ditch this one and we'll still have an improved anti-air complement and it makes it cheaper well cheaper and cheaper these are a lot more expensive this helps us recuperate a little bit of the cost we don't have any new torpedoes don't have any new engines don't think we have any new depth charges no we do have a new radar however question is if it is worth to put it on our destroyers and uh, I do think it is and let's pop a uh, new radar on and these are going to be the Mark 3's okay. 5 of class Mark 3 uh, duplicate Never forget to hit duplicate. I think actually would have duplicated it was automatically, but uh, let's to be safe and do that. And uh, there is something for removing one of these turrets, but I quite like having this heavyweight destroyer, lots of light attack. And uh, let's see what the steel usage is. We can't see that here, can we? Well, I don't think these yeah, these require steel. That's a quite expensive thing to actually put on them. And the hull requires two steel. So this will be four steel per factory. That's actually quite a lot. Do we want to remove one of these then? That's still a little bit better. That's uh, down to the radar. That brings the construction cost down. We're not missing destroyers at the moment, but that could change quite quickly. Hmm. Well, could actually go with uh, one of each. I would uh, bring keep light attack up, give us more anti air than we had before. Yeah, I think think this is the way we go. We use one one standard turret, one dual purpose turret. Save a little bit of steel and uh, make it a little bit more kick-ass destroyer. So let's uh, save that design down. Let's obsolete that one. This one, the new one is 88. I see more expensive, but it is a more capable ship. So let's uh, put a few of these into production. Let's uh, give them to the I wonder why they come up that way, put them into the main commands. That means they end up down here in the reserves where we want them. Actually, I, th I think well, since it's just a radar we are upgrading, we've got four in uh, in stock there. We'll leave it like so for now. We won't make another light cruiser. We, we might be able to make the Crown Colony class or 1940s cruiser hull light cruiser instead. Uh, submarines we won't bother with, uh, just checking through. Uh, won't be building any new capital ships for a while. I'm gonna put some new carriers into the water in a bit. I think we've still got two in the slipways. And should be time to. Because otherwise, uh, that's gonna be June 41 or April. No, June's fine. It is almost done. The victorious. But I think uh, yeah, we can add another factory there. At least that gives us some some more uh, destroyers into the queue. We've got the these ones coming in, the hunt class, which of course are going straight down. Don't know what the Queen Elizabeth ones are doing down here in the reserves. That's fine. Uh, what do we have here? Yeah, we just pulled them out to do some raiding. And load some of these up. Oh, we need light cruisers down here. We've lost. How many light cruisers have we lost? 
von yeah, it looks like we just lost one light cruiser down here maybe we could make a a small hmm. I'm thinking if we made a small convoy escorting cruiser so not a full light cruise but a a kind of small one or we uh, swap them over to use destroyers instead I think that might be the better choice I'll have one good destroyer and that's maybe what we had before actually no it's a light cruiser here okay so oh yeah we have split up the uh, the other ones so here we're gonna remove you and we're gonna add a destroyer to the gun symbol just one of them and this will be the DD. Do we have any kind of escort from DD on? Yeah, there. DD DE escort. escort. There we go. So that means we need to put a few of these other destroyers. And what's this one here? I think this is just a training B2, right? Yeah, it doesn't have a name. That means we can... Let's pull two of these, put them into the reserves. Get them over there and they should reinforce. These are trained and ready to go. Uh, no, we want to... Actually, where are you located? Yeah, you're up there, that's fine. We get down there. And here we've got the night cruiser. We have got all the squadrons and I think these should all be up to... Well, these should need more. But quite a lot of these that needs destroyers actually. We should I'll go over those in between episodes and just uh, add on some few so that they have their destroyer counts or destroy, destroy squadrons. So we can see how many we actually need. Because this one will need at least one more, I think, right? No, it's three. At least three to one. Okay. That was uh, a lot of out of the way. Let's get back into it here. Okay, logistic companies. Very good. Uh, maintenance would be nice to get. I don't know if we've actually tacked those on to the... Tank Brigade? No, we're not using Tank Brigades, we're using Armor Division down here. Yeah, we've got the maintenance companies and logistics set in here. And that's a good division as for now. We could oil marines, we'd like to make them bigger, of course. That will have to wait. How are we doing up here? No, we we're gonna check on that earlier. Okay, so Italy, Italy did the landings up here. We should be able to launch our Marines. East and North Sea. We don't have supremacy here. Oh, we, oh, we obviously encountered some kind of fleet here. We've got a, oh, they've got so much aircraft going here. That probably completely nullifies our carriers, right? Got a lot of damage taken. And they got nothing that we're actually fighting. Uh, let's see. Or maybe we can. They're bombing us again? Yeah, they're bombing us again. We, yeah, we don't have enough fighters here. That's uh, got lots of recon aircraft. Carrier Ospreys. Put another few fighters up here. We'll see. New wing is this one, with a soft hurricanes one, that's fine. Uh, let's put them on interception, day and night, northern England. Do we have anything open up? Yeah, we can. Now we, we want to use uh, the ones we already have. 
We've got 200 fighter wings there, we've got 300 fighter wings over here. And they're on interception, we're removing them from interception duty. Pop them up here and into there for now. Now we want them on interception, of course we want them to... No, they're superiority. Nah, we want to target their bonus. Of course we want to target their bonus. Uh, so we move in that way. Maybe we don't need to invest this much into Northern France anymore. So we hold back our air wings there and then there. And moving those, these are into the channel. And I think we probably want to use these into the channel. Ground support. Well, we could use them somewhere else, but let's just move them over there. We are currently bombing in Germany. Do we have enough to set up a ring of Lancasters? No. Because we just put them into production. We are a surplus of heavy fighters now. And we can probably increase our recon wings. Can't really fly very far in though. Right, that, the, that is the latest ones, right? We didn't uh, research the other ones, I think. No, but we are. So once we get those, we get a longer range and we'll be able to use uh, recon forces a lot, lot better. Okay, so let's see what's happening down here. We'd like to close this pocket up and this pocket up. Or we could of course have used our tanks for this, but um, this is the way it goes. So let's try to see if we can consolidate a little bit here. Yeah, you're not getting out. That should be fine. These six divisions should be should not be here. Okay, we need to be here. We've yeah, got those six divisions, I want them assigned to this front. I guess that will nullify their orders, yeah. Oh, you go that way, it's uh, quicker. Well, we've got uh, quite a lot of political power, we can spend that in the next episode, I think. Let's see, Navy, Air Force, yeah, we can, we'll probably want to spend that on something other than this. We can wait a little bit more with that. Okay, so we got our free, we've been building a lot of factories, and a lot of things went there. Let's see. Uh, we need more aircraft, more heavy fighters. I think we need we need the range, and we probably need more. Let's uh, let's put let's put them in there. Put the carrier fighters down below, and let's put another five on there. Let's put that up to times five as well, and uh, times five. We want to add more more bombers. We want bombers. I just happened to see that we're running dangerously short of aluminium again. Uh, the Malayans don't have anything. So let's get some more from the USA. See if any of our friends has any rubber for us. Steel, yeah we got surplus of steel. At least until we start building those destroyers. And yeah, we can go in here now. There's no one left there. Looks like they... I don't really know where they went actually. It looks like they're closing down this pocket as well. So another big win down here in Africa. Of course this, uh, I think the Australians have made a landing up here too. A nice going. Let's try to connect. The tanks should be fairly self-sufficient. 
kind of wanted the tanks to do the attack there. Uh, land base, support equipment, and rifles. Thank you so much for the support. Let's uh, support that attack. And kickstart the war economy. Time is of the essence, and we cannot wait for natural growth of our war industry. We must make a large investment for the quick construction of additional factories if we are to be ready for war. Of course, uh, the war has already started, but uh, that's just the way it is. Next up is uh, maintaining the imperial integrity. This will give us uh, three research boosts for naval doctrine, and I think we can use the extra extra doctrines for going down the convoy escort branch here. We're a little bit behind there. Uh, this one's tempting too. It's a very good one for Britain. That's how it starts with so many old battleships. Okay, let's uh, let's get this out of the way. And we got a huge battle there in the North Sea that we want to look at. All right, this is very good. How we're doing up here? That's a convoy. Let's just have a quick look around the empire. Let's see what's happening there. It's a convoy. Some convoys. Now we're losing quite a lot of convoys. We are building convoys again now. Uh, wonder if we can. Should be able to if we go to espionage tab and press ourselves right. And the ledger. Yeah, here we can see. So we can see our convoys over the last year. A red line is how many convoys we lost, and the green one is how many convoys we've been producing. Uh, we haven't been producing very many convoys, have we? Let's just check through this. Okay, bombers lost to produced. That's good. We're seeing a steady increase in the number of bombers we are building. And we are doing active missions, so we're not just stockpiling them, we're using them. Okay. And uh, of course the factories are up, 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 up. That's just the way this game is. Oh, that's nice to see a little bit on yourself. I was called player, that's nice. Um, okay, so let's see if we can see anything fun here on Germany. Okay, so they've got still got so many fighters. But we'll, we'll munch through this in time. It'll take some time, but we'll get there. Um, hopefully. Okay, they've got some trade routes with no efficiency. We do have our submarines hunting and down there. We could actually move our submarines up here. It would be more safe. Don't really know. Don't think we have any convoys. So could be why they've got so low efficiency. Just one Scharnhorst. Army Intel. They've got so many divisions. But they are quite a lot but so that's nice. Okay, so they're building 39 dockyards of other things. They've got 100 factories more than us, or 50% more. They're actually building convoys. And then they should be, of course. So they have for uh, naval invasions and things. Uh, that's the naval battle we're going to look at in a bit. Well, that's nice. Let's have a quick look at Italy. They have... Uh, Bombers, factories, yeah, they don't have very many factories, but together with Germany, so that's double the factories count we have. And we don't uh, have any large allies anymore, since uh, France got defeated. Let's see, so we can check on Hungary here too, I guess, doesn't really matter. Let's uh, get out of that. Do we have anything else out here in the Atlantic? No. Yeah, we do have a convoy battle down there. That's a Danish one. But that means we have German submarines patrolling out here in the uh, Cape Verde Plains. And uh, that's dangerous, because that means the Germans actually have submarines probably all over here. Okay, so let's see this uh, big, big battle with uh, not very much happening. 
Uh, it looks like it was. Well, what happened here? There's uh, Admiral Karl Dönitz, but it's an uh, Italian flag. That's uh, exciting. So we lost four aircraft and traded it for five destroyers. It was a very small skirmish. Okay, uh, the. What's happening here? Okay, so Italy is uh, invading Norway. But that's uh, that's the way of this game. We haven't been able to launch our invasions over either. We do have uh, over capacity here. Oh, why did these move? Where are these from? Why do we have some Gloucester gladiators going here? These were probably uh, defending down there somewhere. Let's move them. Move them all the way down here. Yeah, we can have them down here on Borneo, but they do absolutely no use. And they don't have the range to do anything down here, so that's uh, not going to happen. Can we use them here in Africa? I don't think so. What do we have over here? Aren't you Gloucesters? Yeah, maybe we can disband that one. But it is, it is very experienced though. I don't really want to do that. Now let's move it down here to Malta. And uh, let's put it on that way. Okay, so in the English Channel they've got they've got some aircraft moving into interception. What we could do is move ours over to air superiority, move at daytime and we'll escort our naval bombers. And we might be able to shoot down some of their, start whittling down some of their, we've got radar here so we should have a significant advantage over the Germans. At least until they've established themselves properly. Um, yeah, we'll take care of that in the next episode. This is something we'll take care of in the next episode. Unused air wings. We have... Yeah, those are the ones we have. Singapore is standing by, as they should. We will have to scavenge one of these uh, Gloucester Cadetro groups soon, I think. Unless we do have any interwar bombers. Might have some interwar fighters somewhere. We're not allowed to mix those. Otherwise that would be perfect. Yeah, so just uh, by interception duty here, that's fine. And look, the, these are on the aircraft carriers. That's fine, they can stay on the aircraft carriers. But uh, that's all for today. So uh, thank you all for watching. Take care and uh, see you next time.